Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady, and I'm so glad you could join me to see how I made this card. It's a fun and fairly simple card, and one thing I like is that I used one of the single stamps. This Mr. and Mrs. is only available as a single stamp, and I have a link to it on my page. And it's a fun one, and I think it would be great for a shower card, maybe a wedding card. So let's get started. The first thing I did is I took a half a sheet of 8.5 by 11, put it in my perfect polka dots embossing folder, and ran it through my Big Shot so that I had an embossed half front of my card base. Then I pulled in a piece of Whisper White cardstock, my Marina Mist ink, and the single stamp. The Mist, uh, it's Towels for Two. And when I have a bold stamp like this, I like to double check. Did I get it inked? And then the, one of the things I have found that works really well is if I hold my image on both sides like that. Okay. And then I took that towel bar and I wanted to add a little bit of gray to that. So I opened up my ink pad and I took an aqua painter. Oh, before I, I already did it, but you kind of push your ink, get some of the ink on the cover and then you can pick it up, this is a second to dry, and you can go in and color the gray on the color the gray on the bar. So we get a little different look for my bar. There we go. Give that a second to dry here. And then just to get that gray off, you just would put it on your scratch paper until it's wiped clean. Then, this is a, a fun stamp from the Chow Baby Stamp Set, and this was in our Stampin' Success, which is our demonstrator newsletter. They had shown this with Mr. and Mrs. written out, so I decided to put it with this image, the towels for two, and just punch that out with the three-quarter inch circle punch. Punch out a seven-eighths inch scallop circle and then just layered those two. So where did my, there it is. And let's just layer that. Okay. Okay, so I have the end piece or the ampersand. Then I'm gonna pull in this oval framelit. Okay, I am going to center on my multi-purpose pad. I'm going to center the towels in the center there, the framelit, put another acrylic okay, pad come out of my Big Shot. The next thing I did is with the labels die, I ran a piece of Marina Mist through the Big Shot. And then I pulled in this uh, Pierce pack, which coordinates with the labels pack, and I can just line that up. And once like I line that. that up, I'll take my piercer and just poke through all, pierce through all the little holes, just like that. And you will go around and continue and do the entire piece. Well, I've already finished one, so we're going to use this one, and it already has all the little holes pierced in it. So then, all I have to do is mount this piece in the center, just like that, and let's take that little, let's take that little and, and let's put that right down here. And we've got our Mr. and Mrs. Okay, now I'm going to pull back in that card base, and I used a piece of the um, patterns print pack with the crumb cake and I want to take in and just go up the center make a little flag notch it on the end so I can have a banner or a flag and by cutting up that center it gives me a guide of where to go I'm going to put that on with mini glue dots I like mini glue dots when I have a lot of texture on the surface like I have here so let's put that down in the center. A piece of 
the ribbon. This is, I just notched it by folding it in half and cutting up at an angle towards the center. So I think we'll do the same thing. Use a couple of mini glue dots, put that down. There we go. In the center there. Oh, you know what? I just noticed I need to make it just a bit shorter. So I'm going to line up this end and put that end hanging over. Got some adhesive on there. And then we will just trim off the top so it lines up with the top. There you go. And let's take, I need an additional little mini glue dot. Okay. Put some dimensionals on the back side of this so it pops up a little bit. And there you go. You have a fun and fairly simple card that you could use for a shower or a wedding. If you have any questions about what I did here, please contact me at chris at mystamplady.com. And thank you so much for joining me.